Should the sponsors be taking a stronger stance on this? I think they will. I think over time, as this unwinds, and it looks like it's going to get uglier and uglier, I think you'll increasingly see them start to withdraw. And they'll we'll go, see them withdraw? Oh, I think so. I, I think this is getting But really, what's the incentive? They should have done it right. I mean, yesterday was the Big Bang, right? Yeah, but there's, you're talking about media plans that take years to plan, a lot of unwinding. They don't want to come across. They want to be thoughtful and measured. Um, also, I think a lot of different a, a lot of different sports agencies are looking ha at the brands how they're going to respond. So I think it'll be a measured, slow unwinding. But I do think they're going to withdraw from this. Michael, you agree? Will they withdraw? I think some will. I'm uh, still disappointed at the uh, neutral stance that some sponsors have taken. But not only sponsors, uh, the, the media partners of, uh, of FIFA have not said much at this point. So, uh, look, if an athlete gets in trouble, uh, whether it be a Lance Armstrong or a Tiger Woods or a Ray Rice, they withdraw sponsorship overnight. Uh, it seems to me they can they they can make the same sorts of decisions with with FIFA. Uh, a statement that FIFA has got to improve is not good enough. Uh, they got to help FIFA uh, lead the improvement and reform. Well, okay. So here, here's one of the responses um, or statements from another spot, another advertiser that was less strong. One of the one of the more muted ones uh, uh, that, that we that we found, and it said. Uh, the Adidas Group is fully committed to creating a culture that promotes the highest standards of ethics. We can only encourage FIFA to continue to establish and follow transparent compliance standards in everything they do. Why do you think, Michael, that they aren't taking a stronger stance? As you well point out, uh, in other scandals, you you know you saw Nike drop. Uh, drop others right away when something happened. Uh, you know, Ray Rice saw that as well. Uh, so, so what, what do you think is behind that? Dollars. It's about uh, the money aspect of it. It's also a little bit of uh, concern and frustration about what changes uh, FIFA really needs to undertake and how deeply the sponsors want to get involved in making specific suggestions to FIFA on what changes they should take. I mean, at this point, I think it's it, it, my assessment is having worked on the Independent Governance Committee at FIFA for two years that FIFA needs a change in leadership. Um, it's not about rules and regulations; it's about culture. The values of the organization have been misdirected. Well, so here I think Scott uh, is the problem. I think for sponsors, right, is that this isn't affecting. It's not the players. It's not the game that seems to be rigged here, right? Mm -hmm. It's really. You know the broadcasting contracts, right? It's the uh, it's the placement of the World Cup. That's what's being rigged, and maybe that's why sponsors are a little hesitant right now to well, go you away. You saw your. I mean, that statement from Adidas is uh, Adidas leadership there brightens up the room by leaving it. They basically <laughs> said we have to say something, but we don't want to say anything. Right. It's just such a striking lack of leadership. This is the governing body. That this has much larger ramifications across a bunch of different sports because power corrupts. A lot of these agencies have have monopoly power and operate in the Netherlands. And you know who comes out of this a big winner is Attorney General Lynch because someone has finally gotten the backbone to say enough is enough. And the onion being peeled back here is so ugly. This could literally be the end of FIFA. The end of FIFA. I don't see how they don't come out of this dramatically reshaped or they just don't go away. There's also going to be a big opportunity if Nike or Adidas or some other entities step into the vacuum here and say we're going to host we're going to host our own tournament. There's an opportunity for someone to come in right now. That's like saying the end of the NFL here, uh, uh, Scott. I mean, Michael. I mean, you know, is FIFA just too big here? I mean, can you really end FIFA? Well. I think that, that the days of self-regulation are over. If we're going to see changes, whether it be in FIFA or other organizations, cricket, International Olympic Committee, um, we, we're going to have to have some government regulation and rules. I, I, I know they value, the sports industry values its autonomy, but when it comes to transparency and accountability, governments must ensure that these organizations are being run following best practice. Um, this issue of FIFA going away, uh, it's not only sponsorships and, and the media rights, it's about the federations. If the federations from Europe, for example, UEFA and others, decide to break away from FIFA, it could be indeed the end of FIFA. 
FIFA still has an opportunity to straighten itself out, but that window is closing very, very uh, shortly. Uh, without a change in leadership and return of some degree of credibility, uh, FIFA's days are limited. So that guy, Blatter, has to go. Oh, yeah. And, and there are only three things you have to remember in crisis management, but they're difficult. You have to acknowledge the issue. You have to have the top guy or gal communicate, and then you have to overcorrect. And so far, they're 0 for 3. All right. Scott, on that note, thank you so much. Great to see you to today. See you. Scott Galloway, NYU marketing professor. And also, of course, thanks to Michael Hirschman, Fairfax Group president.